Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 189. I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God within me now. There is a light in you the world cannot perceive, and with its eyes you will not see this light, for you are blinded by the world, yet you have eyes to see it. It is there for you to look upon. It was not placed in you to be kept hidden from your sight. This light is a reflection of the thought we practice now. To feel the love of God within you is to see the world anew, shining in his innocence, alive with hope, and blessed with perfect charity and love. Who would feel fear in such a world as this? It welcomes you, rejoices that you came, and sings your praises as it keeps you safe from every form of danger and pain. It offers you a warm and gentle home in which to stay a while. It blesses you throughout the day and watches through the night as silent guardian of your holy sleep. It sees salvation in you and protects the light in you in which it sees its own. It offers you its flowers and its snow in thankfulness for your benevolence. This is the world the love of God reveals. It is so different from the world you see through darkened eyes of malice and of fear that one belies the other. Only one can be perceived at all. The other is wholly meaningless. A world in which forgiveness shines on everything and peace offers its gentle light to everyone is inconceivable to those who see a world of raised, of hatred rising from attack, poised to avenge, to murder and destroy. Yet is the world of hatred equally unseen and inconceivable to those who feel God's love in them? Their world reflects the quietness and peace that shines in them, the gentleness and innocence they see surrounding them, the joy with which they look out from the endless wells of joy within. What they have felt in them they look upon and see in its sure reflection everywhere. What would you see? The choice is given you, but learn and do not let your mind forget this law of seeing. You look upon that which you feel within. If hatred finds a place within your heart, you will perceive a fearful world held cruelly in death's sharp-pointed bony fingers. If you feel the love of God within you, you will look out on a world of mercy and love. Today we pass illusions as we seek to reach to what is true in us and feel its all-embracing tenderness, its love which knows us perfect as itself, its sight which is the gift its love bestows on us. We learn the way today. It is as sure as love itself to which it carries us. For its simplicity avoids the snares, the foolish convolutions of the world's apparent reasoning but serve to hide. Simply do this, be still, and lay aside all thoughts of what you are and what God is. All concepts you have learned about the world, all images you hold about yourself. Empty your mind of everything it thinks is ever true or false or bad or good, of every thought it judges worthy and of all the ideas which it is ashamed. Hold on to nothing. Do not bring with you one thought the past has taught, nor one belief you ever learned before, before from anything. Forget this world, forget this course, and come with holy empty hands unto your God. Is it not he who knows the way to you? You need not know the way to him. Your part is simply to allow all obstacles that you have interposed between the Son of God, this, oh, sorry, between the Son and God, the Father, to be quietly removed forever. 
God will do his part in joyful and immediate response. Ask and receive, but do not make demands, nor point the road to God by which he should appear to you. The way to reach him is merely to let him be. For in that way is your reality proclaimed as well. And so today, we do not choose the way in which we go to him, but we do choose to let him come. And with this choice, we rest. And in our hearts and open minds, his love will blaze its pathway of itself. What has not been denied is surely there. If it be true and can be surely reached, God knows his son and knows the way to him. He does not need his son to show him how to find his way. Through every open door, his love shines outward from its home within and lightens up the world in innocence. Father, we do not know the way to you, but we have called and you have answered us. We will not interfere. Salvation's ways are not known, are not our own, for they belong to you. And it is unto you we look for them. Our hands are open to receive your gifts. We have no thoughts we think apart from you and cherish no thoughts of what we are or who created us. Yours is the way we would find and follow. And we ask but that your will, which is our own as well, be done in us and in the world, that it become a part of heaven now. Amen. So another lovely lesson today. I feel the love of God within me now. These are really turning points in these lessons, I feel. Um, so I hope you're having a great day with this today. Uh, if you need assistance or my uh, support, you can reach out to me uh, at 907-351-3003, and uh, I will get back to you. Um, and just a reminder, I don't carry that phone with me all the time, so um, you can message me, and I will respond, but it won't be instantly, probably, um, unless you just happen to catch me when I have the I'm checking the phone. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow for the next one. And thank you so much for being here today. Namaste and much love.